What's up everyone, Daddy Warbucks here, and it is Saturday, October the 29th. We are one week away from Extra Life Game Day, and I am so excited to be able to, to do my 25-hour marathon again. Um, I am making this short video to give all the other Extra Lifers some tips on how to better make a Extra Life stream that, that uses some of the assets that are provided from the official Extra Life community site, from Stream Pro, um, and a couple other things. So. If this video helps you, make sure that you like, uh, leave a like on the video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's jump right into it. The first thing I would recommend doing is going to the Extra Life website, community.extralife.org, and when you do, um, there's going to be a download section, and I will include this link in the description of the video. In this download section, there are all kinds of things for you to use different um different transparencies to play over your stream if you're if you're interested in that um, there's two different overlays I'll, the process to use them is the same and i will show you both in this video there um, are fonts that you can use and if you want to put any text on your on your video that way it is consistent with the images uh, consistent with extra life's branding so that's fun too Okay, so to use the overlays in the Extra Life package, um, you see here's our scene, Extra Life, we haven't done anything to it. You're just going to add image and name it whatever you want, and you're gonna find the location of that image on your desktop. Um, for you guys, it'll probably be here in your downloads folder. For me, I have all the files that we're using today already saved and on the desktop, so that's the location it's pointing to. And I'm gonna use this right here. So you click OK, and then that's what it's gonna look like. So now you have the overlay on the top and on the bottom of your stream. And then you see this black box over here that is empty. That's where your cam would go. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you that too. To get your camera into the stream, right click, add, video capture device, name it whatever you want. And then you select your camera from this drop down box. Um, set up any configuration that you would like, hit okay. After hitting OK, you'll see your camera will show up here real big. You have to hit Edit Scene and resize it and drag it to wherever you want it. And you're going to try and position it over that black box in the overlay. So that's where it's supposed to be. Boom. Good enough for me. And for anything else that we're going to do at this point, you're going to need the CLR browser from OBS. This lets you take a web page URL and insert that web page into your stream okay um, and to, to download this you go to this web page uh, once again link will be in the description at the end and um, you there will be two versions one will be the 32-bit one will be the 64-bit you have to use the one that matches your operating system and after you do that you need to install it following the directions that are right here okay it, it's it's honestly really simple it doesn't take long after you have the uh, CLR browser plugin, whenever you go to add a new source, you'll have this CLR browser um, right here. Okay, so we're gonna come back to that. Next thing we're gonna talk about is Stream Pro. And Stream Pro is the site to, it's a site that allows people to create overlays and then use them on their stream. Um, in order to create one for Extra Life, now you see I have two here created. One is for the actual notifications for when someone donates. The other one is for the tracker at the top of the screen. Um, I'm going to show you how to, how to create both. And it's very simple. You have to register, make an account, and then you click, click Create New Overlay, type it, whatever you want. So we're going to go Stream Demo, because why not? And then you're going to, you have to select a, select a size for the image. Um, my suggestion would be to just make it to whatever resolution is that you're playing on and then you can just kind of position it there and then it'll be fine so i'm going to set mine to 1920 by 1080. we're going to create an overlay all right after clicking create overlay we will be at this screen and from here um, right now we have nothing set up so what you can do is you can click widgets and there's all kinds of things that they have already um, set up 
to help you with your stream. If you ever want to use any of these other things, the process is the same, but today we're only talking about these two, Extra Life Donation extra, and Extra Life Tracker, okay? Um, and, and you simply click on that, click on whichever ones that you want, and then when you go back to the editor, they are here, see? And then this entire green screen area, that is your um, that is your entire monitor. So that would be what would be shown within the stream. So we're gonna position it like right in the center top there, and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right underneath. And when you click on each area, you see it's switching over here. That's because it is um, it is switching to this widget, that widget. So first, the, for the donation goal. Um, we can change what it says, extra life goal, current, whatever. You don't want to change this dialogue because that'll change um, how it works, but we could say, you know, whatever we want. Extra life goal is currently, and then you can see here on our, on our actual widget, it gives us an idea of what it looks like, see? And it's not currently, uh, you know, you may have to resize it, whatever. So you can play around with that and customize it, make it what you want. Um, you can change the font. Remember we talked about Extra Life and the fonts that they have. So if you've downloaded those and used those, you can actually use the Extra Life Fewer or whatever. That You can change the sizing, make it smaller, make it bigger. You can change the spacing. You can make it you know, bold, italic. You can change the color of the different sides. So extra life, you might want to make it like a bluish color. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do. You can add an image to it, and those are images that are either you know pre-uploaded from their gallery, or things that you can upload yourself. So since this is extra life, you can use one of the images from that media kit that's provided on the website, and you can include that. Um, the donation alert is very similar. You click on the widget, and now we're in. We're messing with it. Um, you set the, you know, set the, the text, set the images. We're going to make ours say extra life and we're going to make it play a sound whenever it, um, see, and you can listen to those sounds and you can just pick one Noise. for whenever for whenever someone donates, okay? And then you can test it to make sure, see like right now, mine is cut off, that's no good. So we're gonna, we're going to increase that. Oh, but that, it's the picture that's really messing it up. So sometimes you have to play around with it and that's okay. Uh, let's try this one. Boom. Test a widget. See, so you ha you'll have to play around with it to set it exactly how you like it, change the colors, whatever. And whenever you finish, you hit save and exit. Okay, so that's how you make the actual overlays. But in order for it to work, you have to go to your account integrations through Stream Pro, and there's a lot of things that you can connect them with. And then Extra Life. When you click the Connect Extra Life, it's going to ask you for your user ID, and that's something that a lot of the different things um, that I'm going to show you today are going to ask for in your user ID in order to get that very simply you go to your extra life page see here's mine um, and you click on the URL and then you see right here actually there is a part that says donor drive dot participant and participant ID equals 196612 so 196612 that's my participant ID your ID will be something completely different um, so you're going to copy that and then you're going to go back over here and you're going to, you're going to paste it right here and you're going to save. And now whenever stream pro, um, uses those overlays and it creates those, it's going to pull that information from your extra life page so that everything is accurate. And that's really cool. And then, and then as you get donations, it'll show that. And, um, it's a really neat thing. 
Next thing I want to show you comes from the Extra Life community page. And this is from a, a user named The Breadman, and he created this on his own. It's a wonderful little thing to, to use. Um, even if you're using the Stream Pro, this is something really cool. I love it. I used it with my stream last year. Um, and, and it takes a little finesse to use, but luckily he has instructions. The download is available from this page. Um, so really you might want to check it out. And it puts this little box that it looks like this, okay? Um, and anytime you get a new donation, it'll say, you know, the amount and who donated. Um, it'll count down the days until Extra Life, until it's like three days away, and then it'll count down the hours until Extra Life. And then um, after Extra Life starts, it'll count your uptime. And, and that is what I really, really like about this, is that it tells you how long you've been, you've been streaming and playing. Um, and for those of us doing the marathons, having that visual thing on the, on the page is is why I like it so much. And then after that, it can flash your donation goal and what you're at. It can it can flash like your team goal and what it's at. And then it, it goes to, and it shows the logos for Extra Life and Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. So that's something else that's really cool if you're not using the overlays from um, from Extra Life. So it's it's really neat. If you want to download that, you hit this file here where it says breadweb then it files that extra life. It'll also be included under the description. And then it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Um, in this page, you know, it's got instructions for if you're on Exploit, if you're on OBS Classic, which is what we're using, if you're on Studio, and then how to personalize it. Okay, I'll go over that with you now. Um, after you download it, you're going to get a folder. And in that folder, will be these things, okay? Shockwave object, HTML object, the README, which gives you a little bit of direction, the XML file, okay? Now, in order to use this, you're going to open it with some with something like Notepad, and then you're gonna get this page. Um, once again, you're going to input your participant ID, and we get that just like I showed you earlier in the video, and then you're going if you want to get a um, if you're a part of a team and you want to show your team's page it's the same process here's here's the page here's the team that i'm a part of it's the akron extra life guild um so here again team and team id two seven two seven three three two you copy that and then you take it and you paste it where it says team id um you set it to the day that you're doing your stream and then the time that you're doing your stream, okay? In hours, minutes, and seconds. I'm starting my stream at 12 a.m., okay? So that's why it says 0000, zero, 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 zero. Um, but you can set it to whatever you want. And then you, after that, you close it, you make sure you save it. And, all right, bring up OBS. And here is where you actually put your stream pro or that into your stream. You're gonna right click on your sources and you're gonna add CLR browser. And then you're going to name it whatever you want and you're going to get this page and it's going to ask you for a url so for stream pro you're going to launch that overlay that you made and then it's you see it gives you this custom url and you would copy that so then from here you would take that url that you copied in steam pro and you're going to add clr browser and you're going to paste that url and you're going to make sure that you add the dimensions to the same as whatever you set the Steam Pro to. And then it'll take a minute and boom, there it is, top of the stream. And we're going to move it up a little bit. But there it is, and then it'll be updated in real time as donations come in. For the Extra Life Helper that we just showed you from the Red Winner, all you're going to do is you're going to open this. Okay, you're going to double click it. It's going to open, and you're going to get a web page that gives you your little box. You're going to copy that URL. Then you're going to add it as CLL browser. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. But again, you're going to add that in. Hit OK. And then there it is. See, and you can take that and you can set it wherever you want. I'm going to put it off to the side for now. And that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you think this helped you, make sure you hit a like, make sure you subscribe. 
Um, hope everybody has a great extra life. If you're feeling generous, I'm gonna include a link to my extra life donation page down below. Um, I'm Daddy Warbucks. Good luck.